Imagine you are a tiger living on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. You have a happy life with a great rainforest to live in and plenty of food to eat. Suddenly, you wake up one day with your home destroyed and nothing left except barren land as far as you can see. This is a problem that is facing Sumatran tigers, resulting in there only being about 400 left in the wild. Tigers in Sumatra are now classified as critically endangered and may be extinct in less than three years if their population continues to rapidly decrease. A main reason for tigers becoming extinct is the deforestation for palm oil, which is destroying their habitat. The island of Sumatra has lost about 18.5 million acres of forest in 20 years, and most of this is a result of palm oil plantations. Research shows that an area equivalent to the size of 300 football fields of rainforest is cleared every hour to make way for palm oil productions. It is important for people to be aware of the threat that tigers in Sumatra are facing because the entire tiger population may soon be wiped out and future generations will no longer be able to appreciate these majestic creatures. It is also important because Sumatra is the only place where tigers, rhinos, orangutans and elephants all live together. This makes the island a special place on earth which should be preserved and looked after rather than destroyed for our own benefits. Many palm oil companies are responsible for the deforestation of tiger habitat in Sumatra. However, the consumers of palm oil are also partly responsible. Approximately 1 in 10 products found on supermarket shelves contain palm oil, which many people are unaware of because companies are permitted to state it as vegetable oil rather than palm oil. Countless consumers buy products containing palm oil without realising, such as Cadbury chocolate, Colgate toothpaste, Oreo cookies and Clearasil face washes. Therefore, when you buy these products, you are supporting the deforestation for palm oil in Indonesia. In order to stop the extreme deforestation for palm oil, we must be more aware of what we are purchasing and where our products come from. We should also be pressuring the government to stop putting palm oil in so many of our products, or to only use palm oil that has been produced with sustainable methods. The World Wildlife Fund is putting in a lot of effort to stop the deforestation of forests in Sumatra and ultimately restoring the tiger population. In August this year, they established a project that lets them look after 100,000 acres of rainforest in Sumatra with a license from the Indonesian government. This project will focus on restoring parts of the forest that have been affected by deforestation and protecting the majority of forests to benefit both nature and people. The World Wildlife Fund also lets you donate to help save Sumatran tigers from extinction. On their website, you can adopt a tiger, which means that if you donate $25 or more, you will receive gifts such as an adoption certificate and a photo of your adopted animal. This money is then used in projects that will help save the Sumatran tiger population. Even easier, if you ever visit Perth Zoo, there is a donation box at the tiger enclosure that you can put some cash in, which will be very helpful for those working on the sustainability of Sumatran tigers. We must do what we can to prevent the deforestation for palm oil in Sumatra, so that the tiger population may once again increase and they may no longer be at such a high risk of extinction.